First, in the last five decades, our next guest has become one of the world's most famous supermodels, appearing in countless magazine covers and hundreds of runways. And now Al McPherson has gone from the catwalk to the boardroom after launching her very own wellness brand. She joins us now to talk about her remarkable career. <laughs> we are so honoured to have you morning, here. Morning, it's, morning. Morning, Al. Great to be you here. lived here for like 18 years, so we feel like you're kind of I know, I feel like anyway, I'm kind right? of you're back home. Too. You're back home now. I feel Welcome like it. This morning. And it's, it's wonderful to be here today. Despite Thank you. my croaky voice. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. But yeah, do you want some honey and lemon back? No, I'm good. <laughs> you know, we can so sort that out for you. I've been on the road for a month. I usually take my super greens, and I haven't this month, and this is what happens. And so, this is the reason. And are you just talking all day about things? and that? that well, I think it's just a combination of, you know, being on the road yeah. and yeah. not being home. And... So, to, so to go way, way back, the original dream with you, and, and it went on for quite a while, was to be a lawyer, right? My stepfather was a lawyer, and I thought that law was a sort of very practical and sure. um, stable career, and and I was pretty good at school, and I just thought, okay, that that makes sense. And, but and then life called me in a different direction. It's unbelievable, isn't it? You kind of literally fell into modelling, and the modelling. The reason why you were doing the modelling was to pay for your education. Is that right? Yeah, I, I, I wanted to be independent financially and, and it paid better than working. I was working at a pharmacy and a bar and it seemed to pay better. And, and I sort of took, a, I listened to my heart and I just took a step towards it and you know, gave it a go and thought, OK, let me see what this can bring. And ultimately, you know, I, I, uh, I started working for financial independence and I built a career from that. And then from that career, I applied it to a brand. And yeah. That was my lingerie brand, and then from the lingerie brand, I started to invest in my own business, which is now Wellco. So when you go from modelling to investing in the business and, and becoming your own brand, what, how big a leap is that for you? Yeah, it's incremental. Yeah. It takes time, and it's about staying the course of what moves your heart. And I was never really... Uh, I didn't love modelling, but I loved what modelling bought me. Did you ever love it? Well, there might, surely there must be moments um, where you didn't. I love co-creating like... imagery right. and I love producing and I love art directing and I love seeing a magic come to life. And it's been a beautiful means to an end for me because I travel, I'm independent, yeah. I've, I've had a very large scope of career thanks to it. I've met amazing people, I speak different languages. It's, it's been a, an incredible education. Yeah. Wow, what a But life. it's about the doors it opens rather than, it, than, than the, the job itself. Well, yes, and I think it's about us stepping through those doors because yeah. doors can open. It's, it's, it's acknowledging those crossroads in your life, leaning into your heart, trusting your intuition and going, this feels right, I'm going to take a step towards it. And if it doesn't feel right, you stand still. Is that instinct, do you think? Well, I call it intuition. It's like your gut feeling. It's that thing inside you that moves you towards something. You think, oh, yeah, I'd like to explore that. And you don't know why. It doesn't necessarily mean it's logical. Mm -hmm. But you just get that feeling of, of interest, of passion, of a rising kind of desire to explore. And I think that's the secret to life. What a great way to look at life, huh? Totally. Well, you partied hard <laughs> in those days. I did do that. You really did party hard. <laughs> at what point did you think, you know what, I need to look at the way I'm living, what's going inside. At what point did you realise, you know, I want to look at my wellness? Well, there's been a couple of crossroads. The first was when I was 40, uh, well, 35, with the birth of my first son, I started to realise how incredible the body was because in the past, I understood wellness as being fitness. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I did fitness with bells on and I honed the, the tone of the body that I required for work. You were known as the body, wasn't you? I was known in the body. In, in 1986, the... Time magazine coined that and then it yeah. stuck. Yeah. And, um, I, and then I ended up using it in licensing. And I also got to know my, my body very well. And then when my children were born, I started to see the true magic of the body, the true transformation through pregnancy, mm -hmm. through natural yeah. childbirth, through breastfeeding. And I started to understand that this concept of perfection on the outside was really so much more magical on the inside right. with the birth of my children. So that was my first crossroad. And then I said, OK, I need to focus on what's going on inside. Then when I turned 50, that's 10 years ago, 
I was in a terrible state. I was putting on weight, my skin was dry, my hair was brittle, I was sugar addicted, I wasn't sleeping well, and I would go to doctors and they would just say, listen, you're turning 50, this is what happened." Sorry, can we just rewind? Did you just say <laughs> 10 years ago <laughs> you turned 50? There was a collective gasp in our ear. What? Uh, uh, well, you're not 60 now. I'm turning 60 next year. Oh, my goodness, yeah. you look amazing. It's all this wellness products well, that I've been go. developing for all of you and oh, for me. Oh, wow, you look incredible. Yeah, you're thank really you. I can't believe it. But I feel good. That's the most important thing. Yeah, you know? that was the crossroads. But 25 years ago, you was in Friends. I remember that. I was that. in Friends. That, how was that experience doing that show? Were it was you, Were you an actress? It, you, uh, did no, you do I was. lessons? I had been doing some film work and then I was invited to be on the show. I hadn't really seen it before. And so I flew to America, I took my two-year-old in tow, and we went right. and um, I worked with these guys. It was an incredible or really extraordinary experience to be working with such a Did talented ensemble. You played, you played ensemble. his girlfriend, didn't you? Was it played Joey's, Joey's girlfriend. Yeah. Joey's girlfriend. Janine Lacroix. <laughs> <laughs> such a great name. <laughs> so good. So tell us about, about the wellness brand and, what, and what, what, what kind of things you offer. Wellco is an Australian-born, natural plant-based nutri nutraceutical brand. So we make powders and um, some capsules to um, really elevate your life because when you're well, you can do anything. And I think when you're well, it shows on your skin when you're well within. Yeah. So we have skin caps, we have hair caps, we have uh, super greens, which is my favorite, yeah. protein powders. And it's changed my life. And, you know, they were so powerful, they birthed the business because really I went on a journey for myself to try to find solutions when doctors said to me, look, this is just what just it's going to be. Journey, and within yeah. six weeks of making these changes, wow. taking my greens, taking the, the products that we had developed, I saw a huge change. And, and plus hydration and sleep as well, you said. Hydration and sleep is extremely important. And love and laughter, yeah. you know, to be in joy in your life, to be in your life. But it's very hard to be in your life if you're not feeling great. Yeah. When so, was the last time you had a really good belly laugh? Every night. Really? Every single night before I go to sleep. And who are you laughing with? I want to know who you're with laughing with. With the love with. of my life. Aww. <laughs> he makes me laugh. And, um, yeah, it's so, it's so wonderful. It's so... You know, for, it, it's a heart opener, right? And I think that laughter, whenever with with um with my children mm -hmm. or um, with friends, if you can find the funny side so of things, true. yeah, it's such a heart opener. I and think then, a day's wasted without laughing. Absolutely, yeah, it's really important. So laugh with the universe, laugh with yourself, not at anybody. Yeah, but also at the sort of juxtaposition of life. Just very quickly before we let you go, Next Top Model, uh, you hosted it for... I did. For, like, how many years did you do? A long time. I want to bring it back. Let's campaign for that. I think it should go. It's such a great show. I hosted and produced it, and it was such a wonderful experience in taking these young girls and helping them lean into their individuality, yeah. their unique beauty, because we all are beautiful. We just need to find where our uniqueness is and lean into it. Yeah. You know? Amazing. It's so lovely to meet you. It's so great Thanks. to be here. Really and good luck so much. with uh, the brand. Thank good you. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thank it's been so 10 years, so we're still going strong. Wow.